Hello, this is Tracy from Constantine Quilts of Australia <clears throat> and today I'm going to show you how to use a clamshell template. I have two different size clamshell templates. I have a 1 inch and 3 inch and a 4 inch and 2 inch. Now what that means is it simply will stitch out half circles that are 4 inches in diameter and two inches in diameter and half circles that are three inch and one inch. Now you can simply use a circle template for this but having them all in a row means you can do it a little bit quicker and be able to line up an overall clamshell design on your quilt top. As you can see here I've already stitched the first three rows and now I'll show you how to continue on stitching I have marked the centre line through each of these half circles so that I can line up with the previous row of stitching. You must always use an extended base. edge to your quilt top and you can just simply line your template up again allowing for the width of your foot as you're going to hit the stitching above. And simply move the template down again and you could keep on going until you've completely finished your overall design on your quilt top. Next I'm going to show you how to use a clamshell in a sashing. Just imagine that this is a 12 inch long by 3 inch wide sashing which is a common size um, on a piece quilt. You can mark your equal divisions, and in this case I've actually marked 3 inch equal divisions so that I can put clamshells um, in between them. So I'm simply going to bring your thread up where we need to, line up your template, and I'm aiming to hit that 3 inch division. Make sure that you control your template. Okay, that's a clamshell in one direction. Now if you reverse that and come down the other side, you will create the design commonly known as egg and dart, hopefully. line myself up and you can get take this away so that you can see just a simple design. Again that can also be achieved with a half circle or with an oval or any sort of curved shape that will fit in between those equal divisions on your sashing block. I'm now going to use the 4 inch side of the clamshell template 
to stitch a design in a sashing which measures 12 inches by 3 inches wide, which is quite a common sashing size. I can fit this in. We're right at the edge of the quilt. have what is traditionally called an egg and dart design. I'll just get my trusty camera person to zoom in and you can see the effect that that one can give you. <laughs> 